Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Hi, it's me, your friend Corey. And I'm just taking a little break from all the amigurumis I've been doing. I've got like three more to do. Four, maybe three. And uh, yeah, I gotta get them done in the next couple days and I'm kind of dreading it. Three, four. And I somehow have bruised my hand, and so that isn't going great. It isn't, it isn't. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here for this little palate cleanser for me. So I can get on with my amigurumis. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully really well. I'm going to adjust that a little. Looks like I'm going to have to repair my tripod soon. It seems to have gotten, the nuts on it have gotten a little stripped or something. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it just keeps slipping. So we'll just try our best not to let it fall. Now, what are you going to do, right? Hope it works. We go. Get my my rings of four. And I've got some sort of bruising that you can hardly see in here. It's slightly swollen, not like crazy, but I don't know if I banged it or something in my sleep or something happened. Maybe when I was doing all that cleaning and moving big stuff around, I mashed it or pulled on it too hard. Who knows? I mean, I've been going pretty easy on the crochet. Like, I haven't been sitting here for hours. I did yesterday. I spent four hours crocheting. But I was also doing things in between, so it wasn't like just straight crochet. Even though that would be a little lightful, but I don't think my hand would let me. And then I iced it and put my gloves on and gave it a break. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Isn't that just beautiful? Such beautiful yarn. So I had my window open for a good chunk of the day because we're starting to finally get down to like 25s. So I'm not wasting any air conditioning with the window open. And just started filming and I said hello and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, on a day they're normally not here, we got some guys blowing leaves around. Not that there's a lot of leaves, but they're making a lot of noise with their leaf blowers. And four. One, two, three, four. So that's always nice. watching a beauty queen. She's so pretty. I love this melon. This melon is really, really pretty and it goes right into this pink. I just love the colors to this yarn. One, two, three, four. Totally out of my normal color range that I like. So that'll make it very special for me. So my mother and I were having this discussion. 
Very interesting discussion, actually. A lady had posted this reel that my mom came across on Facebook and was kind of intrigued by it. She's showing off all the stuff she's crocheted and she says something along the lines that she loves crocheting, but how often does she actually wear what she makes? And that's an interesting point to make. Um, I see a lot of people finishing things, but how often do they actually wear them? I wear mine, but I consider mine to be my good clothes, so I don't like to wear them around the house too much while I'm cleaning up. I'm not going to move furniture while wearing one of my beautiful ponchos, right? That doesn't work. Or my shawl. But I do wear my shawl quite often. A lot more than I thought I would. Like, it's a cool evening. I go outside. I'm talking to my son. I don't want mosquitoes all over me, so I grab my shawl. Beautiful. Done and done. I kind of like it. Makes me feel like I should have some lemonade and be sitting in a rocking chair. Watching the sun go down. Okay, that is... That one got loose on me, so we're just going to redo that one. Because one of the threads decided to escape. One, two, three, four. I'm just thinking about a rocking chair. Drinking lemonade or iced tea. Not getting eaten up by mosquitoes. We do have bats that live up on the roof above us, so we kind of take care of that. Two, three, four. To some extent, we have a neighbor down below that has uh, been house training their puppy on their patio. And they clean it up, but don't clean it up at the same time. It's kind of a yes and no. Two, three, four. But not my not my monkeys, not my circus. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Doesn't that just a spring summery day even though we're moving right into yeah halloween halloween colors i'm gonna be pulling out some halloween stuff fairly soon don't worry anybody else is on their halloween stuff just not me two three four that's okay that's okay i got more than enough halloween stuff to go around three four I'm supposed to be making a costume for my daughter of a cause a cosplay costume. Ugh, I don't want to. But she has her heart set on it, so I may have to. Two, three, four. It's the only thing she wants for Halloween. My youngest, however, she's gonna have the most interesting con costume. She wants to be a ghost, witch, fireman. One, two, three, four. Fire woman, fire girl, fire person, whatever you want to call them. A person that puts out fires. She doesn't think about fire trucks. Loves them. Thinks they're the greatest thing in the world. Two, three, four. You now this yarn is cotton and acrylic. So this should be able to be worn in cooler weather with like long sleeves under it, maybe. Throw it on, head out. It's not going to be the go-to grab a Rooney like my duster or say my hexi cardigan, which I'm almost ready to pull out. I was stroking it yesterday. Two, three, four. So yeah, with that lady's question, I wear pretty much everything I've made for myself. And if I don't like it, I'm going to take it apart and use that yarn again. I'm not going to waste the yarn. I didn't waste my time per se because I learned, right? I got better. My skills have gotten much, much better because I practice. And I'm okay with that. I've taken this apart kind of hurt, but on the other hand, I knew 
I know myself well enough to know that if I didn't take it apart, I'd never wear it. One, two, three, ugh, lost count. I can't count today. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Beauty queen, beauty queen. One, two, three, four. And that's what I like to see. The yellow with this melon has just got my mind thinking of all sorts of color combos. I found some really nice patterns that I really want to get into. A little more lacy stuff. Like kind of. A little more like this. Few uh, tank tops that I may have to look into, seeing if I want to make them. One, two, three, and four. Looking amazing. Feeling fresh and clean. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I got my girl to bed last night and I'm giving her her nightly snuggles and her, her little chat about how her day is. And I'm stroking her hair and this is my youngest daughter. What do I feel on her hair? A wad of gum. Yeah. It wasn't really sticky. It had been in there for a while. No one noticed it all day. I'd even given her a shower and it must have somehow ended up in her hair after her shower so that was an exciting find so first thing in the morning after the bigger one went to school we put peanut butter in her i put peanut butter in her hair two three four took an old toothbrush and brushed the peanut butter and gum out surprisingly it actually worked i gave her a shower her hair's good as to go she had more bubble gum today, so I made sure to tie her hair up. She's really good about bubble gum. I don't know how that got in her hair, but she does have long, long, wild curls. She doesn't want to cut them yet. I don't want to either. She kind of wants straight hair like everybody else in the family, but her curls are my grandmother's curls, and they're just pretty. My grandmother had uh, ringlets, natural ringlets, when she was four and five they got a little tighter as she got older but they were very very cute we always tried to give me ringlets but uh my hair is very baby fine and straight as can be i can't hold a curl you know my mom's got really wavy hair my aunt's got both my aunts have curlier hair and then my grandmother has really curly hair and then there's me with my bone straight three Four. It's a lot of work for my hair to be done. To only have it fall right out two hours later, if you're lucky. So her little curls are precious. She did say if I had to cut out her hair and shorten the rest of it to match, it wouldn't be the end of the world. What a brave girl. She's like, it's hair. It grows back. I'm very proud of her. But it came out. She gets to keep her hair. So that is great news and uh, quite the way to start the day. One, two, three. Let's just take a little look here. So this is going to be my end area. I've marked it off already where I ended before. And I'm thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. I think I am going to end up ending with a gray instead of the blue. Two, three. 
That blue has a totally different shine to it. And I just... I'm not vibing. I thought I could handle it. I thought, you know, that color's so pretty. I will make up for it. It's not working for me. I'll be honest, it's not working for me. Well, we're gonna have to do what we gotta do. Oh my goodness, I, like I said, I have been doing so much amigurumi. My hands are just a little bit like, ugh, are you kidding me? We don't work for you, we work for ourselves. Anyways, thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!